Hello again. Today we're continuing our series about currency, and today I have the Japanese yen notes. Uh, previously I reviewed the Japanese yen coins, and now today we have the commonly used notes of Japanese yen. They're issued by the Central Bank of Japan. Uh, these are the face sides of all the notes, and these are the most commonly used notes today. We have the 1,000, the 5,000, and the 10,000 yen note. Uh, on the back, you can see uh, Nippon Ginko, which translates to just the Bank of Japan. And unlike other countries uh, these days, Japan still uses a lot of cash for transactions. Um, something north of like 30, 35% of all transactions are still conducted in cash. Um, when you travel in Japan, you should carry cash with you. A lot of restaurants still only accept cash. And um, even if you go to, like, say, a department store or something like that, people will s still pay in cash if they can. Um, people don't use credit cards or debit cards as much as other countries. Um, also, if you're used to having notes that are kind of short, uh, Japan is different in that their notes are quite tall. Um, so they may not fit in every wallet. And also, um, they're kind of uh, short, or in terms of height, they're tall, but in terms of length, they're not that long. Um, I have a US dollar here for comparison, and you can see, like, just the $1 bill here is um, longer than the 1,000 yen note. But uh, in height, you can see that the yen kind of quote-unquote towers over the dollar bill. Uh, so it may not fit into your wallet if you come from a country with kind of short money. Uh, otherwise, let's go over the values. Um, the 1,000 yen note is about 10 US dollars. The 5,000 yen note is about $50. And the 10,000 yen note is about $100. And these are very common. People carry around all of them. Um, they don't just carry around like 1,000 uh, yen notes uh, for smaller purchases. They may carry around a variety of notes um, to pay for everything. Um, probably the most common thing you'll see cash used for is like convenience store purchases, uh, recharging transportation cards in all the major cities. Um, and restaurants, definitely restaurants. There are a lot of restaurants that still use the vending machines that take only cash, and then you get the little ticket with what you ordered, and you can order your food that way, which is great for tourists because normally they have either little pictures on the vending machine buttons or there's some type of uh, aid to help you order, and you don't even have to speak Japanese then. You can just put your money in and then order what you want using the vending machine. Um, let's look at the backs of the notes. You can see here there's different artwork and then the watermark in the middle. So this is a very iconic thing of Japan, Mount Fuji and the lake in front of it. This is a statue of a phoenix, I believe, and this one is, I believe it's irises, the flower. So, and you can see that the notes have different uh, color tones to them. This is more blue, this is kind of purpley, this is kind of uh, beigey brown. And there's other security features, of course, in the notes as well. Uh, but the most easiest uh, one to see is the watermark. I think you can see it on a the camera there. And you can see in, in the middle of each one, there's the watermark. This one. So yeah, uh, for me, from where I come from, the notes were quite tall and didn't fit into one of my wallets I had. Um, the wallet I have currently uh, is, is from an Asian market, so it can easily fit the, the tall notes here. Again, the, the actual length is not that long. You can, again, compare it to, like, say, the US dollar. Um, even the 10,000 yen note is n just slightly longer than the $1 note. But yeah, very tall bill, so to speak. 
other than that, um, if you go to Japan, definitely get some hard currency. You're going to need it. Uh, you're going to be spending some of it in restaurants, uh, maybe for your public transportation and some other things. It's just very commonly used still, unlike a lot of other countries that are going completely cashless. And uh, I'll bring you some more information about currencies soon. Otherwise, if you have any questions about currency in Japan or traveling in Japan, just let me know. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy these type of videos. Bye-bye.